Hi friend, today we are going to discuss about content negotiation in ASP.NET Core API. So, first of all, let us know the overview, what is content negotiation and why we want content negotiation. If we see here, the purpose, okay, so content negotiation addresses the need for flexible data exchange between client and the server by allowing them to agree on a most suitable representation of a resource so what does it mean that for example here we have a client okay and here we have a uh, let's say server so client can understand few things so what happens in the same language server need to send the data for example for this what happens there are key components like uh, it involves the accept header in the client request so whenever these clients send a request to this server it will include a accept header okay it will include a accept header here we are saying client request must contain a accept header what does it contain it contain the preferred data type in which it want to make communication and its priorities okay so whenever a client send a http request to server to server it includes this accept header which says that okay here if we see this example it is saying like uh, like it is saying uh, it is saying that uh, it want to communicate in json as well as xml but give more priorities to json if it is not possible then make it xml also so this is saying client prefer json but can accept xml and queues the priorities then what what uh, this uh, server will do let's say as we know client has sent some request so server will respond so server will respond with this a content type header so what a uh, content type header server examine the accept header means whatever the request comes up with accept header it examine and respond with the most suitable representation using the content type header so it will respond with a content type header if we see in this example it is responding with a application public json once it is sending json data as a response and what it is expecting it is expecting json if it is not possible then it is expecting xml and here are the priorities now if we see this negotiation strategy there is a media type matching so the server select the format that best matches the client preference on the basis of this quality values what is quality values we have seen above that it want json having 0.0 9 okay and xml 0.8 that means give more priority to json if it is not there okay with xml okay so it give priorities now here we have also seen this wild card if we go above if we go above here we have seen this white card okay let us select some different color so we can easily see this this one what is star oblique star this is called white card actually okay so what it is a what it is client may use this one in accept header to indicate that willingness to accept any media type if their preferred type is not available so what it is what here it is saying it is saying give more priority to json if it is not there we are ready to accept a xml if it is also not there we are willingness to accept anything okay so wildcard we are using for this purpose now benefit benefit of using content negotiation is we can say allow diverse client and server to communicate effective by adapting to each other's capabilities for example uh, my client can handle uh, this uh, even data type okay and uh, server is having e1 e1 e2 
e3 okay so if if this client is saying that i want e1 so server will know that okay i can easily send e1 e2 e3 so if since my client can understand e1 it will respond in e1 so this in this way a better communication can be established between a client and a server okay so now here we can see this one we have already seen that uh, this is the accept header saying we 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 will be more happy to accept json than xml if xml is not there then we are ready to accept anything these are the queue represent the priorities that give more priorities to these two and less priority to this one then server responds with what with content type content type that okay i am sending this application.json means json data i am responding with here the server send the response in json format and now it is meeting the preference since i prefer json and it is sending json so this is meeting in summary we can say that content negotiation is a dynamic process since these all things are happening at the time of uh, runtime so that enhance the flexibility and efficiency of data exchange in web apis and ensuring effective communication between the diverse client and the server so it's a very much important to make a fruitful communication between between a client and a server this content negotiation play a very vital role so i think i hope that uh, you got some understanding about this content negotiation and what are this uh, accept header what are this content type header what is this uh, uh, wild card okay wild card what are these priorities so these are very much important so let us meet in another lecture thanks thanks for your support